Thanks, Greg. Hey, we, you know, we always hear this term, hey, guys tipping pitches. And mm -hmm. sometimes it's not just taking the ball out of your glove, holding your hands. Sometimes it could be the way you set the ball in the glove, right? Yeah, You have absolutely. five pitches. So do you try to set the ball in your glove a certain way? I, you know, over the years I, I've switched. I, I, I hold the ball in my hand so that no matter what, I have to spin the baseball to get to a grip. Okay. So every, no matter which pitch I'm throwing, like I'm, I'm going to have to spin to a four seam or spin to a change up, a curve ball, cut or any sinker. I mean, anything I, I, I throw, I'm going to have to move, move the baseball. So do you initially get the ball back from the catcher? So you have the ball in your hand a certain way that that's yeah. a starting point for you yeah. across the seams? I, I hold the ball in two seams. I don't, I throw a two seamer, but I don't throw a ball with this grip. Okay. So no matter what, I have to move. So you know it. when you place the ball in the glove, like how yeah, you're going to place it yeah, in. So I start, you're I, coming I start set behind, up right now, yeah. and you're going to throw your curveball. Yeah, if I'm coming set to throw a curveball, I'm, I'm going to have to spin no matter what to get to it. So and now, you're going to spin it, it while it's in the glove. Yes, because I don't now, want do anyone you, to see and it. And you have to be careful because a lot of times hitters can pick this up, and I was guilty of this at yeah. times too, where you'll, you'll come up set here, and most pitchers, they'll have that four-seam fastball grip, and you'll see a lot of the palm, and you have to be careful of not switching and throwing a breaking ball, and they can see that switch that, that it's, tilting it's, of the wrist. It's scary how, how quickly guys can pick up things these days. I mean, they can see your wrist here, glove up, down, uh, body language on the mound in between, you know, like how you, you know, whether your leg lifts fast or slow. They see everything and it's, and it's, it's really tough and difficult to, to pull them. You, you have a good idea. You know where Jose Batista stands in the box mm -hmm. and you know when you look up there, hey, he's crowding the plate. He's trying to take that outside yeah, part Yeah, he's looking away. for a ball that I, you know, might, might not get over to the corner and he can turn and put it in the seats. Like there's, there's guys that are like that. You look at guys, you know, move in between, in between pitches. You throw one pitch in, the next pitch they come up closer because they think the next one's going to be away or they're, or they're going to try to short you know, stay short and get to it faster before the ball cuts in on them. I mean, there's, there's these guys are really good, so it's, it's really so, tough. So to it's ball. always a you can have a great plan coming in and warming exactly. up and say this is what's going to be. Yeah. And all of a sudden, Batista's an inch closer to the plate. You scrap that plan, you go to plan B. Yeah, you got to figure something else out to get him out. You know, you hope you, you, you fool him with one pitch and he, and he does it. You know, he catches it off the end and it's a pop fly. There's a lot Instead of things of you got to think about when you're out here, right? Yeah, yeah especially when you got runners on base too. With one Relaying of the best, the pitches. <laughs> with one of the best in the business, David Robertson, right here.